there is a practical side to what Archigram members do. That it's, it's not just, you know, highfalutin, funny, pretty, colourful drawings and so on. We were invited in the 1970s to participate in an international competition for the development of a building in Monte Carlo. Now, we looked at the list of participants and it, it was full of all the star architects of the time. And there was Archigram. He thought, oh, well, you know, these are nice guys. Some of them are our friends. Some are definitely our enemies. But what are we doing here? And we thought, oh, we know what it is. The guy who drew up the list thought this, well, these are all very competent and very worthy people, but they need a bit of entertaining. You know, they want something that at the end of the day, rather than looking at yet another architect's thing, the jury can be taken over and say, let's go and have a drink over there and look at what Archigram have been doing. And they say, yes, great, great fun. Yeah. So I thought, sod these guys. You know, we, we are not the entertainment. We're going to put into practice what we learnt and what we had understood of our work for the previous seven or eight years. And we'll, we'll do this job. The brief was for an entertainment centre. And in order to illustrate our solution, we had to produce eight different layouts that were possible in this centre for different situations, from a, a gala dinner to exhibitions, a ice hockey match, a Grand Prix exhibition, and go-kart track. So there was actually people buzzing around making a lot of noise. So we thought, well, that, that's what we'll do. We'll invent a whole series of building components which can be manipulated to service different situations. And to the amazement, particularly of the English architectural community, we actually won the competition and got the contract to build the building, which had all been well, we would have built a building in Monte Carlo in the 1970s, 1980s. As it happened in 1974-75, there was a tremendous international financial crisis and our clients in Monte Carlo suddenly weren't able to continue with the project, so the project was cancelled. But uh, if the situation in the 70s had been different, we would have built our building in Monte Carlo. Mm -hmm.